Hey everybody, this is Free Sky Steve, and today we're talking about reverse thrusting. This is a follow-up video to a previous video I've made. This topic gets a little more interesting because, as I'm finding out, you guys actually like having reverse thrusting on your switches. So, how do you do that? I am going to show you how to do this, but I want to show you a, a way that perhaps is a little bit safer and a little bit smarter. Uh, we're going to use a logical switch, and what I want to do is I want to be able to make sure that this reverse thrusting on a switch is only active when the throttle's down. So what I did was I went into the airplane icon right here, which was, stands for models, and went to the next page here, and I created the logical switch. And it's not a very sophisticated logical switch. It's an A is less than X logical switch. A is throttle. X is 95%. So what this means is that when the throttle is less than 95% or all the way down, the switch goes green. But the moment I give it a little bit of throttle, it goes red. And when it's red, it means it's not good. It's not active. Okay, so that's all there is to this. It's logic switch number one can get out of here and I can scroll back to the previous page we're gonna go into mixer now we're gonna create the mixer with the switch um, so this time it's a little bit different than before before I had it set up with a momentary switch and the throttle and I had to do some fancy moving around the way this particular plane works and this was a Zeus uh, Freewing Zeus 90 millimeter. It works on reverse thrust is on channel seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a free mix. I'm going to put it in the last position. Position is not important. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to rename everything here. I'm going to call this one reverse. T H reverse. Oops, I usually like to not capitalize this when possible. First thrust, and I do capitalize for switch. Okay, now the active condition is going to be a logic switch, and since there's only one logic switch, it picks the right logic switch, which is the throttle down. The source is going to be a switch. I'm going to put this on switch D. Oh, switch D, here we go. And so right away you can see that switch D works. Okay. However, two problems. Number one, this is going from negative 100 to positive 100. So... I would believe negative 100 would actually give you positive power forward. I, I don't know. Not exactly sure how that whole reverse thrust works on that particular plane, but the point is we wanted to go from 0 to 100. And the second thing we have to do is come down here and assign this to channel 7. Okay, so that is done. Let's go back now. now how, do, how do we change this curve? And Obviously, this is Ethos 1.5x, and things have changed. Let me show you how you do it. You add a new action, and instead of using a weight, you use a curve. And the curve, I, I've already set up the curve. I don't want to have you guys sit here and watch me set up a curve, because it takes eh, a few seconds to do this. It's a three-point curve, and you can see that point number one is zero, point number two is 50%, and point number three is 100%. So as you move the curve, we'll look at the curve on the next screen here. As you move the switch, switch D, you can see it goes from zero right here to 50% to 100%. So we now have it set up on a curve and it's doing everything we want and let's go look on the outputs to see how this works now you can see the throttle is at negative 100 percent and everything right now is 
off on the reverse thrust. So what I can do is I hit it once, and it's at 50%. I hit it again, it's at 100%. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Let's say I want to cut the throttle as quickly as possible, and I don't want to have to grab that switch. I just want to kill it quickly. All I have to do is give it more than 5% throttle, but not much more. And all of a sudden, that reverse thrust is killed. So it might not be enough to move your plane, but it's enough to kill that reverse thrust. And that's why I think it's safe. The other thing about this too is that you can be, let's say you are flying your plane. I'm going to bring the throttle all the way up to 100%. And you're coming in for a landing and you're bringing the throttle down, you're bringing the throttle down, you're bringing the throttle down, you're on the ground. And you now what you do is you go in and give it all the, take the throttle all the way down. And all of a sudden your reverse thrust is at 100%. So you can set it up so that when your throttle's all the way down, you're going right into that reverse thrust and it's kicking it. And then if you wanted to drop it down to 50%, you just hit the switch. If you want to turn it off, flip the switch all the way. So a couple different ways to do it. I think this is a safer way to get things done. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And I do thank you for watching.